Hello guys and welcome to another video by Games Rage Gaming and in this video today I'm just going to be doing a really quick review on the new Vigilante which is out now in GTA 5 online so first thing off guys this vehicle is available for purchase on the Warstock website so all you need to do is head over to there and the current cost price is 3.75 million which is kind of high end now for the actual cars which are coming out but considering it's kind of a specialist car you would expect this kind of price anyway so I'm just going to go ahead now and purchase mine and I think I'm going to put it over the LG RH8 as we don't like them anymore so as you can see guys I mean first kind of view on it it looks really cool um, looks very different and also it's got the, the rocket on the back so once you've finally arrived at your garage this is what you'll get as the stock so as you can see it's kind of matte black Batman car as we all know with the rocket on the back and the kind of cyclone on the front which we would say now first thing to remember about this guys is that you will need a, a vehicle workshop in order to modify this vehicle as you cannot modify it in a normal mod shop so that's the first thing to remember as it will cost you probably around about another million to convert your MOC to have a vehicle workshop but first impressions on driving um, driving handling is quite difficult when you first get it but once you fully upgrade it it is a lot more stable but when you first get into the vehicle you'll find that it's a bit it's a bit trippy when you're first driving it's a bit it's very low on traction let's say so I'm just gonna head over now to my MOC so I can customize the vehicle and we can kind of look at a few of the upgrades which are currently available for the vigilante so first thing guys is obviously the armor 100% armor next thing is the brakes race brakes engine EMS level 4 lights we're going to do XE on lights and also the neon kit is going to be a full layout with the neon crew color which is the modded red next obviously we're going to come back to the race right after suspension is going to be race suspension transmission is going to be race turbo is going to be turbo tuning and we're also going to have the missiles on this car as well so other than that guys we're going to have the tire smoke set to black at the minute until we can do the crew till later and next thing is the windows which we're going to do limo style so they're fully tinted and finally we're just going to finish off the primary color of the car and for this one we're going to actually apply the modded chrome red which is another modded color in GTA 5 online so basically with that guys first thing you do is apply chrome and then apply the actual the crew color which will underlay the chrome so once you've done that guys you've got a fully customized weaponized vigilante which sounds really cool so all we're going to do now is just just have a little stroll have a little roll in it see what it's like and you'll find once you've upgraded it the traction is a lot better on the car and also the actual the acceleration is really good other than that the actual rocket on the back is not optional so it's almost like a rocket Voltic but in a cooler version and one of the questions I get asked on a lot of my reviews guys is how many rockets can this actual vehicle take so the answer to this is quite surprising and I'm sure a lot of you will be disappointed by the actual outcome but the outcome is as you can see guys this is the worst outcome ever it can only take one rocket so overall guys you're paying 3.75 million for a car which can only take one rocket but looks cool and is weaponized so if you've got any spare cash guys go ahead and purchase the vehicle but if not it looks like you're going to be saving up for a few weeks big thanks to VMP Ninja for helping me out in this video and that's really it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed and if you did please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe even if I'm out to nothing, I know there's always something It's not a fitness test, but it'll always keep me running One good thing about music, when it hits you, feel no pain So I keep it close to me, man
make sure it never goes away, uh.